Hi guys, I'm Ryan Newsman and welcome to my flight hunting channel. If you haven't already done so, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Uh, that'll keep you up to date with everything as I upload it. Uh, my channel already contains hundreds of videos covering a wide range of both patterns and techniques from the basic to the more advanced. Uh, so without delay, let's get on with the show. Hi guys, um, so what we're going to do is tie the pink buster here as a jig fly. So this is a 7.5 gram uh, jig hook. And I'm going to use my heavy gel spun as per usual. So, I'm going to attach our thread. And I'm only going to use sort of half the shank with this. Put some super glue onto our thread and wrap into that and that gives us several layers gives us a crisscross unevenness and that uh, gives us more uh, security to the dressing so if we take uh, this is like a purple purpley pink sort of two mil might even be three mil wide tinsel and that's going to give me my core length to the fly, so you can see that, that back, fold this over what's left of it, and just bind it down. So that gives us our tail core. So next, I'm going to take my pink bucktail. Tie that on. Allow it to sort of wrap around the shank while it's pointing forwards and then tighten into that. And then I'm just going to wrap through these bases here, binding it down. So you can see we should now have like an umbrella of that the whole way around. So I'm going to glue a couple of inches or so of my thread and wrap into those tie ins just to secure it. Then we fold all this back and this provides the support for the core shape of the fly. Taking our thread to the front of that, I'm going to again glue the thread here, two three inches of it. Hold this back. I'm not wrapping over it here, I'm wrapping back up to it. That creates like a thread dam that sort of just holds it back and out. So how much you want it to stick up or out is up to yourself. So next we're going to do is take a bit of, this is like a pink holographic tinsel. So I'm going to take a few strands of that. They're quite long, so I'm going to double them over and cut them in two. So therefore, I end up with a bunch with twice as many, but they're obviously a little bit shorter. I'm going to flip this fly over because it will fish that direction up. And I'm going to tie in that pink stuff on one side of it. So what will be the top of it, like the back of the fly. Fold it back, tie it in. Next, uh, for the sort of tinsel core of the fly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this mix here, which you might be able to see the different colors in. So we have pearl, blue, uh, purple, pink. Uh, there's a multicolored one in there as well. Pull that out. Misalign the tips. Let that sort of 
slide back till it's almost the full length of our fly. Put on a loose loop, lap loop, whatever you want to call it, around it, and then tighten it in on itself across. Well, it's not across the middle, it's sort of like two thirds away along its length. So then you double back the shorter portion and wrap over that. And this is all splayed round, but the uh, the bucktail will support it, kick it out, and therefore allow it to pulse when the fly is fished. Slip a little thread. Wrap over that. Okay, so next uh, the pinking of the fly. So I'm going to use this as like a fluorescent neon pink type uh, synthetic fiber. Cut a bunch of that off and then I'm just going to misalign the tips as you've seen me do in almost every pike fly that I tie so that we get a more natural edge to it rather than a square cut edge. I'm going to set that on it's probably 60-40 40% being forward, allow it to display the whole way around and tighten up on that and tighten down into it. Glue that center portion and then I'm just going to fold all this back. fly up do we get an idea of what it's going to look like. And then it's time to finish off the head. So for the head we're going to use a bright pink craft fur. So I'm going to cut off a good size bunch of that. Pull out the short stuff. Set that on my side. I'm going to tie it in so it's kind of enveloped one side of the fly. So I'll flip this up now and then I'm going to repeat the process on this side. Same thing, pull out the rubbish, take the bunch and offer it up on this side. A loose lap, let that settle down in and then tighten up. That should now be totally splayed around in an even sort of halo there. So I'm going to create a couple of half hitch loops behind it. Glue that, and before that gets a chance to dry, I need to get this all folded back. So, this is where you get stuck with a hook very handy. So, I'm just forcing everything back, and then I'm going to hold it in position there with my finger and thumb. Once I'm happy with it, I'll just allow the super glue to run around the folded edge there and that'll hold my head in shape. And so that is the general shape of our fly. So it's a pink jig fly. I'm going to now to take a this is a black pro marker and I'm going to create 
black stripes on the fly. So by holding all the materials back under tension, it's far, far easier to do this. And then you can match them up from one side to the other. It's going to look like if you want more definitive stripes you let it you need to let it open up and then go in and repeat them over and over in the same fashion that just gets it down deeper and deeper onto more and more of the fibers so that's going to give you instead an idea of the striping of the finished fly we now just need to put on eyes so we need to let that super glue dry before we do that. So I'm just folding that flat and then we'll let that set aside for a while until we put on the, the ice. Okay so having allowed the super glue to dry I'm going to mix some two-part epoxy together here. So this is a five minute epoxy. I'm mixing it together as per usual on my little post-it pad so that I can tear off the top strip and throw it away. Having mixed it together, I'm going to get uh, a little blob of it here. Offer it up on this side and then repeat the process on the other. So you want like a you want a bit of height to the blob so that not not so much that it starts to run all over the place so it takes a little bit of getting used to but you want enough that it'll sort of be able to get down through the fibers uh, of the head and also leaves you that little bit of depth to it so that it uh, can get up over the lip of the eye if you understand I'm actually going to just join the two as if you were making a, a head okay and I'm going to use like a blue pearl eye here so I'll take that stick the back edge of it just into the Epoxy. So a little lip comes up over the back of the eye and repeat the process on the far side. So that is our eyes in position and we just need to wait until those set. Now if you have clamps you can clamp them in position at this stage which can be a fiddly job. Set the clamps on and then you just need to make sure that the pressure of the clamp hasn't forced the eyes into some sort of unnatural or not matching position in which case you just need to use something just to push whichever one has moved slightly back into position and then we just need to leave that aside to dry And if we want to, we can further add the head. We can create an epoxy head on it. Um, or a glittered sort of epoxy head on it. But uh, just need to leave, the, leave those eyes to fix in position first. Okay, so... Uh, if you check the epoxy that is on the little thing that you mixed on, so here, 
you can get an idea of when it's going off. So it's starting to become much more viscous and sticky now. So rather than playing around with the head, you can use that as a guide as to when your epoxy is going off. Um, so we are getting to the stage here where this fly is done. Now you're having a look at it. Uh, my epoxy is actually joined there and I'm happy enough with that one, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, so if we now pop off the clamp, you can see our finished striped pink buster pipe jig fly so uh, hopefully you like what you see if you did give us a like subscribe tell your friends check out all the other videos that i have on the channel and until next time tight lines and thanks for watching